I said, if his story was true, the devil must have got a hold of me and put a very bad story in my head that, that I've suffered just about every day of my life, you know, for 50 years. And he comes along 50 years later with a different story. And why the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame called on him to uh, give the story, you know, I have no desire to be in the Rock and Roll. I don't care if I'm ever in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's not, that's not a part of my life. I'm not getting up every morning saying, honey, did the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame call me? I don't give a damn, you know. Uh, but I know what I did. If he wants to stick to his story, let him stick to his story. If people want to believe it, let him believe it. But I did 50 years of suffering, you know, over my story. And how it got in my head, I don't know if I didn't do it. And how Buddy got his, my wallet in his coat pocket, I'll never know. And Mr. Anderson sitting there at the table with Jerry Dwyer and me and the sheriff here and saying, Tommy, it's a good thing you went back in that night for Buddy. We was on our way to the airport. I'd always put a little bag of dirty clothes in the station wagon next to the big box.